He wanted to know if you could get pregnant as a result of having intercourse a few days leading up to your period. And when it comes down to it, a woman is fertile for six days out of each month, five days leading up to ovulation and on the day of ovulation. And ovulation usually happens about 12 to 16 days before the woman's next period is going to begin. So ultimately it really depends on how long your cycles are. And a normal cycle length is anywhere from 25 to 35 days in length from the beginning of one period to the beginning of the next. And so let's say that your periods are about 28 days long. So that means that your fertile window could actually start on day seven, or if you were to ovulate on day 16, your fertile window would start on day 11. And because you don't know exactly when you're ovulating, it's not a perfect science. It can happen a little bit earlier or later than the norm or what you expect. The best thing to assume is that you're able to get pregnant anytime after your period ends through a few days past the midpoint of your cycle. So again, if your cycles are 28 days long, the midpoint is day 14 and add a few days to that and just make that your fertile window from the time your period ends until a few days past the midpoint of your cycle. But if you've only had intercourse in the couple of days leading up to when your period starts, then it's not possible for pregnancy to result from that. In addition, if you had a regular period, then it's safe to say you're not pregnant because pregnant women don't have periods. Actually, the first sign of pregnancy is a missed period. So if the day ever comes when your period should start and it hasn't, and you've had intercourse during those days that could possibly fall within your fertile window, then you should either rule out or confirm pregnancy as the cause by taking a test. If the first test is negative, wait about a week or so. And if you still haven't started a normal period, then take another test. And if you're seeing negative results about two weeks from the time your period should have started, it's safe to say pregnancy isn't the likely cause, but it's always best to call your doctor and let them know. And they can ask you more questions and determine if further inv investigation is warranted. If you're not pregnant, but you did miss a period, then continue to track your bleeding patterns. And if you go three months without a period or you have spotting in between periods associated with intercourse or you're experiencing heavy bleeding, any bleeding patterns that are unusual to you, call your doctor. And again, after asking you more specific questions, they can give you tailored information and advice about it. Good luck with everything. And if you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.